here's what I will say. I, I hate to sound like one of those, just, you know I'm not a hardcore Trumper, okay? But um, I do think that President Trump is making some concessions here because Kim Jong knows that if he doesn't get in gear, Trump's gonna, can, he will without a doubt drop the hammer. I can't picture a world in which he wouldn't drop the hammer on him. And we'll get into why I think that is. This is obviously the topic everyone's been talking about. Here's what I'm saying. On ego alone, let alone policy, if Kim Jong embarrasses President Trump by lying, because right now there's a lot of conjecture. We don't know what's out there exactly. Yeah. And we don't know what he's going to stick to as we never do with Kim Jong. But can you imagine any world where Kim Jong embarrasses President Donald Trump on the national stage and doesn't get crap hammered? Look what he did with Canada, right? Look at what he did with Canada and the tariffs. And I'm not a fan necessarily of, of the, the, the tariffs, yeah. uh, but he did this because he got pissed. Look, look at his comments. No, I have a good relationship with Justin Trudeau. I really did. I, other than he had a news conference <laughs> that he had because he assumed I was in an airplane and I wasn't watching. <laughs> he learned that's going to cost a lot of money for the people of Canada. <laughs> yes. He learned. You can't Canada do is. that. You can't I'm do not this. a big fan of the tariffs, obviously, uh, but I'm not a big fan of the way Canada has been engaging necessarily in, in international trade. I'm not a big fan of Justin Trudeau. Okay, but I do love how catty he is. And, and maybe next time, okay, maybe next time, You'll lift the toilet seat, okay? <laughs> maybe, 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 huh? How's the 35% tariff on steel? Maybe next time you'll lift it, I don't have to fall in at night. Um, I think it's an interesting contrast though here because everyone's upset now with yeah. President Trump complimenting Kim Jong-un. And by the way, for good, I don't think Kim Jong-un is worthy of any compliment. So let's be fair here. I, I really wish that President Trump hadn't done this, but I do think the why is interesting. Well, he is very talented. Anybody that takes <laughs> over a situation like he did at 26 years of age and is able to run it and His run it tough. Died. What did you learn about him, sir? I learned he's a very talented man. I also learned that he loves his country very much. I don't think he buys it. I really wish that President Trump hadn't. He, he hasn't done anything impressive at all in his life. Kim Jong Un has done zero impressive his entire life. But. Like you said, Naki Jared, why is he complimenting him? Because I do think with a crazy person like that who's surrounded by sycophants, you kind of need to make him think that he's won. Contrast that with President Obama, who who tried to talk semi-tough and accomplished absolutely zero. And I, you know, there's a lot of a lot of people on the left are coming back and saying that he's he's giving concessions, he's doing stuff, he's stupid for doing this. There's no agreement. We need a relationship there, not a relationship of a friendship. We need somebody who's willing to come to the table, and Trump accomplished that when no other president has done it. Right, none. So if you want to bad mouth, oh, we didn't get a, we didn't get and the result. It's, it's kind of like kind of like a first date. Like I don't think I'm, it's gonna be very productive on the first date. Yeah, exactly. Listed out everyone's flaw, the, the, all the flaws you yeah. see in another person. Like, and, and and first of all, I think you should. We don't. The civil rights issues are important. I think we should get to that eventually, in North Korea. But that's not the, the, the most important issue when it comes to our national security. No, right. No, I understand that you're not going to you're not going to fix that with this. this not in the first end. meeting. But here, here, let's give you a quick quick timeline, okay? North Korea, they've never gotten it right. U.S. policy has never worked. 1994, Bill Clinton, North Korea signed an agreement. No, okay, they d didn't do it. Uh, Bush administration, 2002, no, 2003, they reactivated. Uh, then we go to 2007, there was uh, talks to resume in North Korea. They, uh, I, I think we have it. Re 2012, <laughs> weeks after Kim reaches a deal to suspend its nuclear weapons Same program, story, right? they launched launch a long range rocket. So here's the thing with President Trump: is he a narcissist? Of course. Um, all the criticisms about his personality are true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But on policy, he tends to keep his promises. Yeah. He lowered taxes. He pulled out of the Iran deal. Great precedent set here. The Paris Climate Agreement. He moved the embassy to Jerusalem. We got Gorsuch as a, a, as a judge. Regulations are being slashed versus President Obama, who did not close Gitmo. He did not manage to lower premiums with health care for families. He failed to allow imports of cheaper foreign pharmaceuticals. He didn't end in the income tax for seniors making less than $50,000 a year. And he also failed to end the war in Afghanistan and Iraq. His foreign policy was absolutely abysmal. The point that I'm making here is that any kind of deal which occurred under President Obama wasn't worth the paper it was printed on. As a matter of fact, the risk of any deal with a crazy tyrant surrounded by sycophants, like, it, it, they only speak one language, someone like Kim Jong-un. That's the language of action. And based on the track record, if even for the very same valid reasons people criticize Donald Trump, this is, I'm not, I'm not saying that this is, this is a, the best deal we could get. I'm saying, I'm looking at this a little optimistically, there's a lot, this is entirely opinion. For the same reasons people criticize Trump, that he's trigger happy, that he punishes people based on ego, 
Kim Jong-un is singing a different tune because of that. Yep. The language that he speaks is ego and humiliation. And I think President Trump right now is giving him something to lose by complimenting him, saying he's talented. And guess what? He can take that all away. That would sting Kim Jong-un a whole lot more than a war that I think he wants anyway. Yeah. So I'm, I'm not saying that this is all good news. I am saying sometimes crazy people can spot other crazy people, and then it just comes down to who can out-crazy the other person first.